Eric Radiator Grill Store here with a, a 2015 911-991.1 GTS. We're going to do a radiator grill install on this. We're going to do the sides here and we're going to also do the center. First thing we do is we vacuum out. So we got a couple things in here. You know, you want to get into corners, some leaves, back in the corners here. But yeah, get your shop back in there. Ooh, that's all wet too. Not good. All right, this is what comes in the package for the uh, 911 GTS 991.1. Uh, this is gonna be your left. This is gonna be your right. The folds go towards the back. And then you'll have your 3M tape and your center grill. And uh, the 3M tape sticks better at 65 degrees or above. So make sure that you either have warm up your bumper cover or it's already warm. First thing we want to do, we're going to start with the side radiator grill install and we want to protect our paint. We want to protect also the satin pieces as well. So we're going to be coming in and we're going to be bypassing some of this and some of the edges are a little sharp and they can grab your paint or grab those plastic parts. So we want to make sure that we use some painter's tape and tape it off and protect your paint. All right, for the side radiator install, we're gonna be coming in from the bottom. There's our painter's tape protecting our surfaces. And what we're gonna to try to do is get this grill all the way up into the corner here. And then we're going to get it as close as we can. We're gonna to have to bend it a little bit to get it past this corner. And then we're going to take this and shove it this way into position. We're gonna be utilizing these cable ties here. We're gonna grip them and grab and pull it that way. So we will go in and we will work it up into the back corner as high up as we can. Um, it will grab here and there and work it into position. And if you have to kind of bend it a little bit to get into position, that is okay. And then we will bring it towards the middle here. Try to straighten out any bends that you might have put in there. And if we can see right here, there is a little tab that we will have to get in front of. It's this tab right here. We will get in front of this tab by bringing the wheel in front of it. So that's something to remember early on in the install. It's harder to put it in front of that tab later in the install. All right, we're gonna start off with the side radiator install. Uh, as we said, we have our painter's tape here to protect our, our, uh, our satin black work or paint work here. And we're gonna come in at the bottom here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to get the grill through the bottom up into as far as we can get into this cavity here. It's gonna grab things here and there, so work your hand in there and try to wiggle it and get it up as high as you can. We're going to tuck this corner right through here, and then we're going to, utilizing these cable ties here, we're gonna grab them and shove it this way to cover up this duct right here. So we will go on in on the, the bottom slats, and we'll be working our way up in here wiggling it to get it up as high as we can into that corner. Let's wiggle back and forth. And if you have to bend it a little bit to get it to clear this corner, that is okay. We can re-bend that. And now we have it in place. Now we can take these cable ties and start working it towards these ducts. One thing we do want to note is that during this part of the install, we have a small tab here. We want to pull the grills in front of that tab. Early on, it's harder to get in front of that tab later. And then now we can shove it to the side with these cable ties. Make sure to pull both sides of the cable ties together, otherwise you will lose it into the cavity. We 
utilize our hand inside here and pull. And it looks like it is caught up on the duct entry. Let's work our way through that part. Tucking it back behind the grill area. Utilizing the cable ties to wiggle it into position like so. We're gonna be doing final positioning of the grill. Uh, a couple places to note, you can use a, an Allen key or some other plastic, maybe an extra cable tie, and you can kind of pull this area, pull that forward, make it look nice and tight there. Um, we do have that small cutout that this fits into. There's a, a, a notch here that our cutout will fit into to create that OEM look. All right, now we're going to be finalizing the install for the side radiator. Uh, we're going to be taking these cable ties, fish them out of there if they happen to be back there behind the grill, and we're going to be loosely connecting all of them just to make sure that everything's in position. And as we're doing that, as you can see the receiving end is here, we're going to be pulling the top and rotating that receiving end to the bottom so that we can get that out of the way and hide that as best as we can. We'll just keep rotating that until it's all the way back as we keep tightening and rotating. Tighten and rotate until we're nice and tight and that cable tie is nice and hidden and snug in that corner. We're gonna come by with our side cutters and we're just gonna clip that off as close as possible. And you're finished. All right, so we're here and we're at the last one. Uh, let's show it one more time. We're gonna be rotating the top, rotate the bottom as we're tightening up. And then we'll just pull it tight. And then we will clip it off. As tight as we can get it. And there you go. That is the finished product with the hidden cable ties. Full coverage looks like it came like that from the factory. Here we are on the driver's side. Just do that process one more time. All right, we're on to the 991.1 GTS center grill install. Uh, this is going to be uh, what is included in your kit. You're going to have 3M tape. You're going to have an included alcohol swab to do cleaning of our surface. And you're going to have the center grill. We're going to want to do a dry fit just so you understand where it's going to go. But on the 991.1 GTS, we're going to be uh, aligning our 3M tape along this duct line here. So we're going to be putting it just on the uh, edge of the satin black ducting. And we're going to want to take our alcohol swipe and thoroughly clean this area to ensure we remove any uh, waxes or silicone or anything like that. Another thing to note is that the 3M tape sticks better at 65 degrees and above. So if you have a, you know, a cooler garage or something like that, you can take a, a heat gun and warm up that area and, and make sure that the tape is warm as well to uh, assist with adherence. Now it's time for the 3M tape. This is pressure sensitive tape. So what we wanna do is we're gonna put it onto the surface then we're gonna hold it for a second or two and make sure it gets good adherence and then move inch by inch all along here. I like to start in the upper corners and then work around a seamless edge through the bottom and then up to this corner and I would cut it here and then I would work this top part here right to the middle bump here, skip over the bump and then continue on with one more strip across the top here. And we want to be putting it right at the edge of this black duct. I want to put it up there, just hold it, pressure sensitive, and work it down inch by inch, press and hold, press and hold, and try to get that, that line nice and straight. 
Press and hold, press and hold. Get down in that corner, press and hold. And just work inch by inch, nice and slow. Do the work backwards. Make sure it gets nice adherence. Just follow that line. We want to end just before this little bump. This is our license plate alignment bump. And then we'll start again right on the other side and finish up in the other corner. Now we're going to take that center drill. Uh, we're going to put a little bit of a bend on it. And it's just this top edge here, just the top edge. We're gonna put a little bit of bend about two and a half inches in on either side, because that's the way it's shaped. That is the way that the, the ducting is shaped back there. Those help with the install. So what we wanna do is take something, maybe fingernails or something slightly sharp, and you're gonna to wanna to start the red tape. Pull off the red backing tape. Be careful. And what we want to do is start inch by inch up in one of these corners. And what we'll do is we'll utilize the edge of the trim and our fingernails or thumbnails, and we will press and hold just like we did with the tape. And this can be a tight fit, so you can push and pull on the bumpers to get a little bit extra room to get this to seat in here. We're gonna pull that red tail out front. And what we're gonna do is work inch by inch, just pull it back, and utilizing our thumb, and do it as straight as possible. Get it to that edge. You can even, right now, we can get our hand behind here to guide it, and we'll guide it and seat it on the tape. Pro tip, utilize the end of a cable tie or another cable tie and work it back here. Bend the end, stick it around here, and you're able to utilize it to pull away from the red backing tape and give yourself a little bit of room to, to get that out of there. Here we go with the uh, final install of the center radiator grill for the 991.1 GTS. And you can see the sides as well. You can find these and more at radiogrillstore.com.